no matter how we say it, there's only really one correct motive. We may say it different ways, right? One correct motive for all things we're talking about. I mean, I'm trying to boil it all down, right? So if surrender really is the key, right? That's really the thing that needs to happen. The motive is God getting glory. You want to take the battle to the enemy? Let's say your battle's with fear, your battle's with worry, your battle's with doubt, your battle's with your finances, your battle's with your relationship, your battle's where your battle is, okay? You want to take the battle to the enemy? You choose to give glory to God. Whatever happens, I don't care. Strike out or home run, doesn't matter. God's going to get glory. Whatever God asks me to do next, I will say yes. I don't have a right to say no. If I say no, it's always sin. If I hesitate, it is sin. If I procrastinate, it is sin. It is wrong. I don't have an option. When you start thinking that direction, it changes how you choose to live. The enemy hates that. That's how you silence the enemy. You punch him in the mouth. You live life in such a way that the last thing he wants you to do is get stirred up. The enemy attacks you. Share your faith. The enemy attacks you. Pray harder. The enemy attacks you. Praise harder. The enemy attacks you. Serve more. The enemy attacks you. Give more. He hates that. It's like, well, okay, when you attack them, when you, when you mess with them, they come back a swinging. The way bullies operate is, is through intimidation. The way you handle a bully is, instead of being intimidated, is you come back at them. Because most of the time, bullies don't like that. They're not used to that. The enemy is a bully. He wants you to be afraid. He wants you to be intimidated. He wants you to be caught up in whatever you're caught up in. He wants you to be overwhelmed by whatever's got you overwhelmed. He doesn't want you to believe that the Bible's true and that God's who he said he is and that the promises are for you and that you can walk in absolute authority. He doesn't want you to believe any of that stuff. I'm just telling you, if you want to take the battle of the enemy, come out swinging. Not out of your pride, out of your brokenness. Not promising a home run, but just saying whether I hit a home run or I strike out, God gets glory today.